On December 30th, 2013, a BNSF coal train, designated as CMNRAJ23, was getting on a siding for just north of Keysville, Georgia. There were two engines leading this train, BNSF ST70 Mac 9735, TFM or Kansas City Southern Railroad ST70 Mac 1623, 124 empty cars, and two DPUs in the back. These DPUs were KCS ST70 Ace 4153 and BNSF ST70 Mac 9679. Before the crew departed their train, they made sure to check the air brakes before leaving the yard. At 3.27 a.m., the crew contacted the local UP dispatcher and filled out the track warrant. At 4.34 a.m., the crew decided to back their train just south of Keysville because there were two other trains that had passed them earlier. As soon as they'd done that, the conductor relined the switch to the main track. Heading south was a UP train. This train had three engines leading and designated as MPBSR30. The leader of this train was CSX ES44DC5348, CSX AC44CW number 72, which had his Y and 2's paint scheme back then, and CFX AC44CW1026. The UP train left Riverfront Yard at 545 that morning. However, the UP crew was not familiar with the BNSF train parked in the siding. The reason for this is because they did not take any action on the location. However, as they got closer, they realized the switch on the main line was not set, and the engineer immediately throws the train to emergency. And then, all of a sudden, it happened. <laughs> The UP train collides with the BNSF train, traveling at 34 miles per hour. All three engines from the southbound train derail, while two engines and 11 cars come off the track from the BNSF train. Amazingly, despite the train going at 34 miles per hour, all five crew members survived. Luckily, there was no hazardous or fire that started between the engines. The NTSB soon investigated that the conductor of the northbound train, aka 9735's train, improperly set the switch. The conductor stated that he was in the incorrect position and that instead the northbound train would have waited on the main line for the southbound train to pass by. In addition, this would have also required the conductor to revert the switch back to its normal position. This accident could have been also prevented. After the wreck was cleaned up, $7.8 million were against the crash. 72 was taken on the flatbed and taken to the nearest CSX shop where it was repainted and put back into service and still operates to this day. 9735 was repaired and put back into service. However, it lost its original paint scheme and returned in the H3. 1623 was also repaired and 5348 was repaired as well. A few years later, 5348 runs as an ES40DC, and 1026 returned to service as well.